So uh, in this part, we are going to be modeling a cup, a basic cup in general. So uh, firstly, I will then delete everything in this scene as we are not going to be making use of any of this. So for now, to select everything, if you use an A, that's a shortcut, and X to delete and delete everything. So uh, now to model the cup, I would think what's the closest? If I use Shift A to add a new object, I'll look at all the primitive. What's the closest primitive to a cup? And I believe that's the cylinder. That's what I'm going to be using for this end. Because so for now, I don't think I need this much uh, edges around it. So let me just reduce this to mm, let's say 20. I think that's okay for me. Since it's just a simple cup, I'm going to make it. So now, yeah, let me go into edit mode. Now there are some uh, basic stuff I'll be talking about. In I'll be using. Or I will be showing you rather, even though I might not really use it like that. So, uh, firstly, uh, one of the stuff you will use frequently while modeling is the loop cuts. Adding in loop cuts. And the shortcut for that is Ctrl R. So, let's assume you add a loop cut here. Yeah, that's like adding extra edges and uh, all to your scene. So, let's assume you add a loop. You use Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Wherever you click, then you would have uh, the freedom to move and position the loop cuts where you want. Once you position it, you can click. The loop cut will remain in that same position so you can scale this part of the cube of the cylinder up so you can use it for any object be the cube the cylinder or anything so yeah let's assume you wanted to model the wine glass use this to maybe expand this place select the face option x to delete delete the upper face and select the bottom i to insert e, e to extrude e to extrude s to scale and voila you have a wine glass but no, that's not what we are going for in this tutorial. We are just going for a simple, a simple basic cup. So uh, yeah, then to get started, I will just add in a cylinder. Move it on the Z axis, something like this, and going to objects, going to edit mode rather. Come to the face, select, select this top face. I to insert and E to extrude and I'll extrude this downwards. Yeah, so. Now, in order to see where the bottom of your cup is switching, you can switch between object, between solid view and wireframe view. So there's also a shortcut for this. The shortcut is Shift Z. But just in case you can't keep all the shortcuts, you can't keep up with all the shortcuts, you can always come here to switch between solid view and wireframe. So I'm going to wireframe G to move after extruding it downward and Z to move on the Z axis. So I want it to be pretty close to the bottom. So uh, now, uh, one more thing I want to do, I want to add in, I want to uh, make this down, this bottom part of the cup a bit rounded. So uh, there's a tool for that in uh, Blender, in uh, edit mode, which is the bevel tool. So to bevel, the shortcut is Ctrl V on your keyboard and you move your mouse. So you add that and uh, bevel that rounded edge. So you can also increase the uh, number of, or how the resolution of the bevel here. Yeah. You can also increase it by rolling your mouse through the higher you roll it, the more uh, edges and passes, the more smooth the bevel will be. So we don't need this something this smooth to do. So if we have like that, yeah, I think something like this is okay for me. And yeah, there, I think we are done most part of the cup. So for this mouse currently it's too sharp, so we can go into edit mode. Also, when it comes to selection, to select like a loop in Blender, like you want to select this round edge, you go to the edge select, you can't select it. To be kind of stretch for selecting each of them one by one so you can just select a loop holding down alt on your keyboard and clicking on one of the edges to select that loop so you can also select these two alt and click so now we want to bevel this edge uh, this uh, lip of the cup to make it a bit more rounded so that's control b to bevel and move your mouse away so that's too much yeah something like this is all right and there you go you have your cup so uh, one more thing i want to do i want to give the cup a undo so to do that, I'll just give the symbol. I'll use a torus shift A, add a new object, mesh and torus. Yeah, this is what I'll use for the undo. So currently, the torus is looking too thick. So I'll just come here and reduce the. I will reduce. Sorry, that is minor radius. A bit so I th I'll use zero point one or zero point two. Yeah, I think. 0 0.12 yeah i would use this so i would go to the front view by pressing one on the keyboard 
move this to something like the side here three to go to the side view rotate and press type in 90 on your keyboard to rotate it by 90 degree so i'll go back to the front view s to scale it down and position it somewhere like this for the angle of the cup so now if you look into the cup you can see this extra this extra part of the story so we don't actually need that so i'll just go to the front view going to edit mode now you can select by just clicking you can select a particular uh, area of the mesh by clicking and dragging over it so select it so uh, now if we uh, se try to select it from solid view it will select just one part of the uh, mesh because that's the only part that seems to be visible so what you will do in this case let me go to my front view back is to go to wireframe like either by clicking here or using the shortcut shift z so go to the wireframe then click and drag over your mesh to select these parts x to delete and i will delete the faces yeah so now if i look it's no longer protruding so once uh, one last thing i want to do is to select the angle select the cup and control j to make everything one object and there you go you have your cup with your angle that you can move around in object mode you can scale it scale it on the z axis or scale it on the y axis anything of your choice so yeah that's uh i think that'll be all for this video see you in the next